Hello, hello. I've just pressed the go live slash record button. Hopefully you can hear me. And I have a question for you. Are you trading currently either stocks, crypto, Forex, whatever the case may be? Do you have a risk management plan? Are you even aware that risk management is super important for you to be able to make sure that you minimize your risk and maximize your, res your results? Well, I'm here to tell you that this is the case. And if you're not careful, you could really lose a lot more than just uh, the hair that you're gonna pull out because you're so overwhelmed and possibly frustrated, right? I have a solution for you and I'm gonna be sharing with you some information on how to ensure that you understand risk management and some tips in order, in order to be able to get there. If you enjoy what you're uh, seeing today, please be sure to give this a thumbs up, sprinkle it amongst your friends and family who might benefit and feel free to reach out if you'd like to learn more. So if you are unaware of who I am for some reason, maybe you just found me randomly today, my name is Cassandra AKA the Daily Wealth Ninja, and I am passionate about empowering people to create success in their life. Whether it's through digital marketing over on my Prosperous Heart page, whether it's through learning how to trade and be efficient with your trades through this page, Daily Wealth Ninja, I truly believe that everyone was meant to prosper and live a wonderful and happy and healthy life. And so I want to share what I'm learning on my own journey in the uh, hopes that it also empowers you to be able to do something similar for yourself. So, again, Risk management, this is totally a thing, something that people should be aware of. It's so important. Um, I've actually already done a technical trading on this where I break down the tech and actually show you some, some numbers and stuff. If you want that, please do uh, say down below risk, R-I-S-K, 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 and I'll get that to you. Otherwise, if this is repurposed on YouTube, it will be a link or maybe a, a, a I forget what it's called. A little video will pop up or something that says, hey, click here, right? Uh, oh no, it'll be on the ribbon somewhere right here. Anyway, I have that already to show you the numbers if for those who are visual, but otherwise I'm just gonna keep going here so I can respect your time. Oh, by the way, since I do live in America and this is super important for legal reasons, I am not a licensed financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing with you today is simply for educational purposes. When you decide to invest in your own uh, or on your own and with your own money, please do so with money that is not uh, vital for you to be able to be living. This should be money that you are able to lose because there is no guarantee in trading. Uh, the past results not guarantee nor dictate your future results. Uh, results. Your uh, actions are what determine your results. So please be sure that you either A, educate yourself or B, get the advice of a licensed professional uh, on this matter. So, okay, now that I've CYA'd, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and talk about what we're, what we're, what we're going to talk about today. So first of all, I'm going to talk about what is meant by risk man proper risk management. I'm going to give you three rules of trading, the difference between demo and live accounts, the difference between luck and skill when it comes to trading, and five tips for proper risk management. So first of all, proper risk management, as I said, I've already created a video that gives you the visual breakdown of it, but basically it's where you m minimize your risk by making sure that your stop loss, i.e. where you are going to be done with the trade, uh, where that's going to be based off of your percent invested in the in the uh, trade, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it also is what determines how much money you make every pip you earn, right? And again, that's covered in that video I talked about before. So make sure that you understand that proper risk management is not just the the uh, decelerator, i.e. the brakes, i.e. you know, close out this this uh, trade because it's hit my stop loss, but it's also the accelerator for how fast your account grows, right? So if you, for example, say you had 2% of your account in 20 pips of a stop loss, well, you'd have to earn 20 pips in order to get 2% of your account back versus someone who is more accurate and precise in their trading, who's been educating themselves and investing in their their education and skills, they might have 2% in maybe a five pip stop loss, which means for every five pips, they earn 2%. So if they both earn 20 pips, that would be 8% uh, that someone would gain versus someone else's 2%, right? So it's really important you understand risk management. Uh, the number one rule, okay, let's go into rules of trading. So the number one rule is that you must protect your money. You must protect what you have first before gaining anything more, i.e. move into profit. So if you have, let, let's say that you have a, a uh, trading plan, which I've given a two-part trading plan on that. Just say trading plan down below and I'll get it to you. Otherwise, it should be, again, a video or something on YouTube. Okay, so uh, this trading plan, 
make sure that you, whatever you're willing to risk per day, that you only have that many trades open that equal that risk uh, that you're willing to risk per day. Uh, you also want to make sure that before you get any more trades that you move your trades into profit, which means it's gone enough up in your trading uh, plan to be able to move your stop loss from losing to at least one pip above you know, your original so that you can make sure that you are winning, right? Even if it's only like a dollar, right? A dollar is better than negative a dollar, okay? All right, so that's the first rule of money. Second rule of money, make your money. <laughs> close the bag, whatever phrase you want to use, make sure that you are earning your money. You want to, when you're, when you have a, a set of rules that will tell you when to get in, when to get out, you know, how much you invest, et cetera, et cetera, you are more likely to make, create success in your trading uh, uh, options and ideas, right? So protect your money, make your money, and then go back to number one. Those are the three rules of trading. All right, so demo versus live account. So your demo account is using real market data, right? Showing those same bars and all that stuff, um, but you're using what I call monopoly trades or what most people would probably know as paper trading. Basically, you are trading with money, but it's not money that you actually have invested in. You don't actually have skin in the game. So this is money that whether you win or lose, you're not actually getting anything except skill, except wisdom, right? You are learning how to utilize your RAS, your reticular activation system, to be more successful in your trading. Your live account is when you feel more comfortable with it. After you've had some, some training, after you've had some, some, some testing and you've been doing it consecutively successfully, right? Because here's the thing, you could lose more than you win in your trades, but when you minimize your risk and maximize your potential for earning, you could earn 100 pips in one trade that totally wipes out any losses you had, right? It's all about protecting your money, making your money, and following proper risk management, right? Okay. So again, demos, paper trading, you know, real skin in the game, live is your real money. And this is also usually going to make you more emotional. So when you are paper trading, be sure that you are pretending that it's your money. What would you do if this was your real money? If, and here's the thing. The money that you use should not be money that you should be afraid of losing, right? So you should make sure that all of your other bills are paid for before investing because this would be money that you could potentially lose as you're learning or if you make a mistake or if you don't have someone to guide you along the way, right? So difference between luck and skill. You can control how much you lose. This is based on your skill. Your skill, your education, the tools that you leverage, uh, the guidance that you seek, right? These are things that you have control over. What you do not have control over is how the market moves, right? So your ability to see patterns, to know when the best time to get in and get out is, and when you minimize your risk, that's your skill. That's your neurons that have created those strong connections. And that's how you are able to control what you lose. What you, you cannot control is, and again, I'm looking at notes, sorry, I'm trying to, to uh, stay on topic here. You cannot control how much you gain because luck is how much you gain, right? Luck. And one of my favorite quotes regarding luck is that luck is where preparation meets opportunity. So when you are prepared, it means you have gone through some education. It means you've gotten some guidance and some mentorship, right? You've invested in your education. You have been taking the paper trades and you know what to look for. At least, you know, you've, you've built up your RAS. So that is your preparation and your opportunity is where the market is going. That's your opportunity. You have an opportunity for winning. You have an opportunity for losing. But your luck is your preparation meeting this set opportunity. So again, you cannot predict how far in your favor the market will go, but you can determine how much you're going to risk. All right. So last but not least, five tips for proper risk management. Uh, and again, these are just some suggestions and tips to help improve your trading. First one is create a trading plan. I, again, I just finished a two-part series on this. Say trading plan down below and I'll be sure to send it to you. Second is find a strategy that works for you. Whether it's a specific tool, like in the system that I use, there's so many different options, so many different trading tools, so many different trading strategies. You have to find one that works for you, that works for the time frame that you're willing to be trading in, that works for uh, how much time you have to trade, right? If you only have of 15 minutes a day, you're probably going to either need to be a long-term trader, i.e. intraday trading or even a day trader, or you're wanting to be a scalper and you want to already know I'm going to get in and get out in five minutes, right? So you have to make sure that you have a trading plan that works for you, a strategy that works for you. Okay. So that's number two. Number three, 
practice, 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 practice. Practice does not actually mean you make perfect because in order to make perfect, you have to be knowing how to um, fix what you have, right? Which is, which is why you need mentorship. But it's also to strengthen those neurons, which make it more um, easy for your body and your mind to pick up because you've done it so much, right? In the beginning, when you learn something new, you're slower and usually more frustrated because it's, it just doesn't come to you naturally, right? Um, but as you build up that skill and you strengthen those neural neuron uh neuron connections, neural connections, connections between your neurons, as those strengthen, it becomes easier and faster for you to be able to do that. So practice, practice, practice until you become confident and you are successively, I think that's the right word, successively successful, consecutively, consecutively, consecutively wow, consecutively successful. <laughs> So again, pretend the demo account is your real money. How would you be investing, right? So create a trading plan, find a strategy, practice, practice, practice. Number four is have a plan for when you move stop loss into profit. So this is part of your trading plan, but I felt it was important to mention again, because when you know when to move from stop loss into profit, that's when you're securing the bag. That's when you are protecting your money. You know, key, uh, key rule number one, right? Protect your house. And then last but not least, number five, is no more than one to three percent a single trade the reason for this is because there are some people who trade with 10 percent stop loss this will wipe you out very fast and i'm going to give you some numbers why so if you have two percent of your of of your whole account per trade right with six consecutive losses this means that you will still have ninety dollars and forty cents about left over which means you have only lost about nine point six percent when by doing six trades at two percent per trade right versus if you did ten percent of trade with six consecutive losses you'll only have fifty three dollars and fifteen cents that's almost a forty dollar difference so you will have lost forty dollars more for that uh hundred dollars in a trade or that you had at risk uh than you would if you had done a smaller trade right so it's really important really really important that you only risk one to three percent in a single trade. Now, as you get better, maybe you can invest more, right? But you want to make sure that you are um, protecting your money, earning your money, and then starting back at one. Okay. So there are tons more suggestions for this. I would love to share it with you. Uh, so you have three options. One is you can say, you know what? I don't need any help. I don't need any more education on my trading. I'm good. I'm able to do exactly what I want, when I want, wherever I want. Well, you know, within pandemic reasons right now. Uh, but if you're good with that, you can, and you want to just move on. Cool. That's, that's option number one. Option number two is, Hey, I really like what you're saying. I'd like to learn more. Where can I, you know, do that and learn more from you? I have a group. I've linked it somewhere above below, below this video, Daily Wealth Ninjas of Forex. And welcome, please answer all the questions and, you know, at, invite, get in, uh, invite yourself in and answer all the questions and I will add you. But the, uh, what, what goes on there is that I not only share these videos and these trainings, but I also answer questions and I'm also doing some live trading in there from time to time. So that's what's in there. However, your there's a third option as well, because while that option sounds great, maybe you really want to break down your learning curve even faster with my group. Sure. It's going to help you, but it's limited to how much time I can spend in that group because I have a day job. I have a business. I, you know, I have a life. I have this little guy right here. This is my Dyson. Say hi, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, my time there is unfortunately limited. So if you want to break down your learning curve even faster, have access to over 60 plus hours a week of live mentorship from different training strategies, different tools, tools to help pinpoint your success and a community to turn to when you have questions, then that's going to be option three. Go ahead and reach out to me about that. I would love to share with you what I'm using to build my own skill set because truly I've, I'm a firm believer that this is one of those skill sets that embodies my favorite parable, where if you give a person a fish, they eat for a day. But if you teach a person to fish, their family eats for generations. And this is something Thing that when you learn this skill, you can take it with you no matter what, when, whether you have a job, don't have a job. Uh, you want to teach your kids this, right? Because this is something I truly believe everyone should understand and learn how to do. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Cassandra, aka The Daily Wealth Ninja. I've just shared with you 
a lot of information actually. Uh, I've shared with you what's meant by proper risk management, three rules of trading, the difference between demo and live accounts, difference between luck and skill, and five tips for proper risk management. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you got value from it, please give this a thumbs up or a heart. Uh, a subscribe, I think there's a live tap button here, uh, or maybe there's a bell right here if you're, if you're watching this as we post on YouTube. And feel free to connect. Again, I firmly believe everyone should know this, and I want to do what I can to empower you. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one.